Welcome to The Chem Doctor, and this is the third video in the series on reaction mechanisms. Uh, in the first two videos, what I did was I established, uh, when we look at a series of elementary steps, where one of the steps is, where, where the first step is the slow step or the rate determining step, what that means, and then how we uh, evaluate those elementary steps in, in order to uh, determine whether or not this proposal or this hypothesis actually matches the experimental rate law that has been determined for uh, the kinetics of a particular uh, chemical reaction. And uh, what I would like to do in this video is address the concept of uh, uh, chemical intermediates and, uh, and homogeneous catalysts before we move on to uh, the, the, the next major area, which is evaluating a series of elementary steps where the rate limiting step is not the first step. All right. Um, so what I want to do in this presentation is define these two uh, imp important concepts and uh, the, uh, the identity of an intermediate versus the identity of a homogeneous catalyst. We're going to do that using the same two sets of elementary equations that we used in the past two videos uh, which are shown here in blue all right and um, what I want to do right now is digress for a moment and we will look at uh, we will look at the definition of an intermediate and the definition of a homogeneous catalyst so in terms of the, let's focus on the intermediate first this is going to be a substance that is produced uh, in an initial step and what that means is that um, in in an, an initial elementary step, an intermediate will show up as one of the products, and then in a subsequent step, that product will appear as a reactant, and therefore, when you add the two elementary steps together, the intermediate will be canceled out, and intermediates do not ever appear in, in the overall balanced uh, chemical equation uh, for a particular uh, reaction. All right, and an intermediate... Uh, has um, no bearing on uh, on e speeding up a chemical reaction. So an intermediate is unrelated to a catalyst. All right. Now, before I talk about the homogeneous catalyst, I just want to remind the viewer what a catalyst is. All right. This is going to be a substance that that literally will increase the rate of a chemical reaction or increase the speed of a chemical reaction. Um, the the main criteria being is that a catalyst does not appear in the balanced chemical equation. So it's we, we would say that for the overall chemical reaction that a catalyst is actually not consumed as one of the reactants and it's also not produced as one of the major products. And so like the intermediate, when, when a catalyst is in a reaction, it, it is not actually part of the overall balanced chemical equation. Catalysts come in, in two forms. They can either be heterogeneous or they can be homogeneous. A heterogeneous catalyst is the type of catalyst where you might put platinum metal or something like that into the chemical reaction and the platinum metal uh, interacts with the reactants in such a way uh, to increase uh, the rate of the reaction. One, one last thing I want to say about a catalyst is that the way they basically work is by... Um, reducing um, the E sub A for a particular reaction or the activation energy. That's how they work. All right, so you basically lower that energy hill. And as a result, the, the fraction of, of particles that have energy uh, greater than or equal to E sub A is automatically increased within uh, the reaction vessel and so um, the, the speed of the reaction is increased. Alright, so now let's address this issue of a homogeneous catalyst. How, what is this thing? So a, a, a homogeneous catalyst is a substance that is involved uh, in the chemical reaction that happens to be in the same phase or the same state as the other components that are in there. Alright, so in the elementary steps that we're looking at that we're going to go back to in a second all of the components are in the gas phase and so if there is a homogeneous catalyst in there which there is and, I'll, and I'll, I'll point out to the viewer what that's going to be that particular substance needs to be in the same 
uh, physical state as the other components that are involved in the elementary steps and therefore the overall um, um, balanced uh, chemical equation. Now, how do we tell the difference between a homogeneous catalyst and an intermediate? Well, in the case of the catalyst, the, the, the actual substance appears as a reactant in an initial step and then it, it appears as um, a product in a subsequent step and the net result is when you add those uh, steps together to uh, determine the overall balanced equation, you're also going to see the homogeneous catalyst uh, canceled out. All right, so let's now apply this. So first, let's identify an intermediate. So again, the definition of an intermediate uh, is a component that is first produced in an initial step as a product. So we see that in this reaction, we've got actually two products, NO and NO3. All right, and so what we want to do is look at the next step and determine whether or not either one of these is appearing as a reactant. And you can, you can see that indeed this, the NO3 is appearing as a reactant in the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and circle these two particles. These are the intermediates. All right, because the NO3 is produced in the first step and then it is, uh, uh, appears as a reactant in the subsequent step. So when we, if we were to go ahead and sum this equation together, you can clearly see that the NO3s are, are going to cancel out. So by definition, the intermediate will not be appearing in the overall balanced equation. All right, now let's take a look at the, the next issue, which is to identify a homogeneous catalyst. So, in this case, we want, to, we want to focus on the reactants of the initial step. And since there's only two steps here, that, that's going to be step number one. And we see that we've got two particles of NO2. So then we focus on the products in the second step. And, that we, and we see, and I'll go ahead and circle it, that we have one particle of NO2 appearing as a product here. And we have two particles that appear in the first step. So you can clearly see that we have uh, NO2 uh, that is a reactant in the initial step and then NO2 that's appearing as a product in the second step. So we do have a homogeneous catalyst present in our elementary steps. Whoops. Let me go ahead and, and we'll, we'll label this. And it is the NO2. And like in the other situation with the intermediate, when we add the equations together, you can see that the NO2s clearly cancel out. All right, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and close this video. I would like to thank the viewer for taking the time to watch my presentation. And um, you can find more videos at www.chemdoctor.org. Thanks again for watching, and, uh, and I hope that you uh, check me out in uh, video four on reaction mechanisms.